Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Coffee Coley Podcast. Joined once again by the entire crew today. Hail, hail, the gang's all here. The fatal four-way, so to speak. So that means it's another wrestling episode. <laughs> uh, we got uh, Campo, we got Putty, we got Caps in that bottom corner under Putty there. So, once again, wrestling episode. This time we're going to be going through our top five female valets. So, without further ado, let's get into our top five. I'm going to have Campo start. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to rearrange these flipping tiles. Um, all right, so my number five, I have China. Good choice. Hey, Buddy we'll, surprise. We'll, 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 we'll save explaining. Yeah, no, no. For the more later. Yeah, that's fine. She-Hulk. Go Caps. Caps. Would have been a good choice. Um, my number five is a Caps. It's Terry Runnels. Marlena and Paige, Kimberly Page. Forgot about Kimberly Page. That's a good one. That's a good yeah, one. Terrible That's... choices. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> uh, my number so five. Been... This is the guy that picked China. Okay, never mind. It's okay. We'll, we'll get into that. It's after. okay. Yeah. No, my number five is Lita. Okay. Uh, my number five is Caps with uh, Sensational Sherry and Tori Wilson. Uh, my number four is Miss Elizabeth. My number four is Trish Stratus. My number four is Tori Wilson. My number four is someone a little bit more recent, and that's Lana. Uh, my number three is Stacey Hebler. My number three is Tori Wilson. And my number three is Trish Stratus. And my number three is Vicky Guerrero. Uh, my number two is Sunny. My number two is also Sunny. What? Mid nineties, Sunny. Oh well, yeah, we're talk. We'll get into this later. <laughs> uh, my number two is Stacy Keebler. My number two is also Sunny. And my number one is Sherry Martel. Yeah, my number one is Miss Elizabeth. Same here. My number one is Miss Elizabeth. And my number one is Miss Elizabeth. Which is the correct answer. Exactly, okay, well, exactly, we're gonna get exactly. into this. Yeah, this no. Oh, no, no, episode. no, 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 John. We're all the time. You're always saying this is the correct answer. It's three against one, correct? Yeah, answer. I never said that. Okay, no. anyways, <laughs> we're um, not arguing. Well, where are we going from here, boss? Uh, where are we going from here, boss? I'm curious as to why, uh, Sherry Campo, um, because I think in terms of being an actual manager and playing the heel role, um, similar to like a Jim Cornette ish and actually being a decent wrestler. And he having was. ability. This is my thing. And I'll, I'll go through, I can go through everybody, but I think that she revolutionized the position to be more of the way we saw it in the future, where Miss Elizabeth is here on my list because she's absolutely iconic. You can't not hmm. have her on the list, but she provided absolutely nothing in terms of storyline, anything. I like there was there was nothing. She she didn't talk, she didn't do anything. She didn't get any time to do anything. She got thrown out of everything by Macho Man. All part of the storyline. Are you sure it was all part well, of the okay. storyline? I, I think one of the greatest storylines of all time is the George the Animal Steel, where he tried to steal Elizabeth from Macho Man. But she's a prop. She was. She didn't. Uh, she wasn't. She never got involved in matches the way Sherry did. Sherry was no. involved in the matches. Miss Elizabeth we... is iconic as... Um, in terms of what a valet is in generally, and I have to agree, I cannot dispute that at all. The reason for Sherry is because she revolutionized the position and changed it to be where it would go moving forward. Well, let me say this. I feel like the time that Sherry came in, and I, I, I don't blame Ms. Elizabeth for this. I blame Vince. I feel like Vince would not have given, I would, if, if she was opportunity, she would have you know gone beyond and done what Sherry did. May not have been as good, but what I'm saying is, is I feel like the time that Sherry came in, was a time that I think Vince was giving the opportunities for females to have it. Cause you got to think uh, there wasn't really it's around the same time. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I, I, well, no, Sherry was the difference after. is Sherry was a wrestler and Miss Elizabeth was not a wrestler. That's why he gave her more to do, but yeah, this yeah. is the thing. So with Miss Elizabeth too, on top of it, even if he gave her time to do that, when she went to WCW, she talked and she sucked. So yeah, that's probably wasn't why talker. Vince didn't let her do that. I, I'm not taking away from her. I don't want you to think that. This is just why no, I have no. this at number one. And like for me, um, I think Sunny. Everyone had Sunny at two. Yeah, uh, we means, might as well yeah. talk about this now. Well, you're wrong. Um, she is the reason that females in WWE exploded. 
she yeah. became the most downloaded person on the internet. Everybody knows the story. Um, she's hot as hell, number one, on top of that. But she also was like the one that opened the door because WWE saw, holy crap, I can make so much money off, off these women. And it sucks that that's how they had to get into the industry. But at least it kind of opened the door for them, right? Also, also I, would, I would argue, too, with Sunny, a lot of people who got into wrestling in that early to mid-90s, um, Sonny was probably one of their first wrestling crushes too. Yeah, I, I, for me, for sure. Um, and then I have Stacey Keebler at number three. Um, I don't have Tori Wilson at all. And I'll, I'll tell you why. It's because when it came to the managerial side of being a valet, almost Stacey Keebler's entire start of her career in WCW, that's what she was. She was yeah. more of a manager and not that it much was, of a uh, valet. I think it was, was like David Flair's, yeah. Tori Wilson never did anything good as a manager. She couldn't wrestle. She couldn't talk. Uh, she's hot. I'll give it to her for that. But, like, and that, that this is just my reasoning for why the list turned out the way it is. I'm not not. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm just, she that's what I'm saying. Honorable mention. And yeah. to me, I think Stacey Keebler just understood her role better. She couldn't wrestle. She was a terrible wrestler. But... I don't feel like she wanted to wrestle. I feel like they all got pushed into wrestling. Yeah, like, it was that that era was the whole era of yeah. like the Braun panties matches, right? Yeah. They weren't real matches. The yeah, only exactly. two that could actually wrestle at the time were Lita and Trish. Well, mm-hmm. not even that Jacqueline and like Jacqueline or Jackie. Who was there? Was Jacqueline? Then there was another Jazz. Was it Jazz? Jazz. Yeah, there was Jazz. There was uh, that was at that I, time though. Ivory right? could wrestle too. She Ivory was, could. Wrestle. Ivory could wrestle. Yeah. Yeah. Ivory was one of the best female wrestlers at that time. Yeah. Probably I the best. That, I think Trish and, and Lita kind of like everybody rubbed off of those other wrestlers. They they rubbed off of them. Yeah. yeah. Like the only reason why Lita and Trish were pushed to the forefront is because they were surrounded by really good wrestlers. And I think uh, that had mm-hmm. a lot to do with Sharon Martel yeah. because yeah. That's or fair. maybe even Mula too. But I don't know if we're yeah. um but um <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, going back to what you're saying about Miss Elizabeth, I think with it had a lot to do with Randy Savage at first. So I'll give you that much. Like he played his role well, but um, Miss Elizabeth played her role her role very well. She Absolutely, was, yeah. He was able to get the crowd to feel sympathetic or you know, mm-hmm. feel sympathy. Right. Um, that night, na- that naivete, naivety, whatever you want to, yeah. whatever the word you know, I'm looking you for. You could do so much better. But, yeah. Uh, you know, she just sticks Basically around saying- and all that stuff. <clears throat> yeah, her acting was not based on her actually physically talking, but you're right. In WCW, she was horrible, but it was more of like playing the victim. She was really good at playing the 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 uh, the. Yeah, the, I know. Yeah, let's you hire know, women the, and make them play the victim. But right? I hate, but that's how it was back then. I hate put it that way, but that's it's how not it how it was. It's how we made it. But I understand what yeah, you're saying. Yeah, I yeah. get what you're saying. But and, I, I mean, she she probably could have been more. But in my opinion, and I that's a, an era of wrestling that I have thoroughly like watched. Like I love that era. And to me, she doesn't do much. She's there to fall on the floor during the match, make Macho Man get hyped up, and then she throws a weapon in the ring in her purse for him to use to punch someone in the face with. That's her role. Um, But, like, I just feel like these other people revolutionized it more. Okay, so I have China. Yeah, I was going to – that's the next one I was going to ask about. China China is on my list just for the one reason that she's absolutely maybe the most iconic valet that's ever existed. Other than Miss Elizabeth, China. Everyone knows China. Every mm-hmm. single wrestling fan knows who China is. She changed pop culture in terms of women in wrestling to mm-hmm. to not. She was no longer just like the pinup girl or just the valet. She wasn't just a wrestler. She did all of it, and she played she this evolved. character, and she played the character well. Whether she was amazing at everything is questionable, but yeah. I mean. I mean, I really enjoyed the storyline with Guerrero with the whole Mamacita. And, uh, yeah, there was, a, was, there a, was great a few story. good ones. Uh, where did she go immediately after DX? She had like a decent little storyline in between. Didn't she go with like X-Pac? Yeah. I think, was, be, I think she just uh, became like an IC champ or something. Yeah. yeah. Uh, she did. <laughs> she had that feud with uh, Jeff Jarrett, I think, where she yeah. won the... Just, like I said, my my to me... China's there just for like iconography. Isn't she's, she? Isn't she the so... first? Uh, isn't she the first woman to enter the royal uh, royal rumble? Yeah, yeah she's the so, first yeah. woman to win the intercontinental championship. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, she's my number one honorable mention. But... So okay, I guess we're gonna go with number one honorable mentions. Yeah, uh, I have Beulah. 
Uh, I think in the same way, Beulah is synonymous with ECW. You think yeah. ECW valets, you automatically think her. And um, Or my top honorable mention, which is Francine. Uh, that's a good choice as well. I oh, mean, Mine's Dom Marie. <laughs> well, there you go. Oh, wow. See? <laughs> really? <laughs> ECW. Yeah. So, 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 I, 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 I think that's like a huge one. I mean, my knock to Trish Stratus is, I know I've been talking a lot, but I feel like I'm doing good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're doing great. Stratus is that uh, she didn't do a good job managing anyone in like the thought process of what a manager would do. She was literally just arm candy. And at that time, there was already so much of it. And it took her a long time to actually be good at in-ring stuff. So I don't yeah. think the valet part of her is the good part. I think her later on wrestling career is what her is in-ring good work. about Trish is. Um, but I mean, and, that's not bad. And the thing is too, going back that nobody mentioned someone like Sable who like I you said, was my next person on my list, yeah. but S- Sable was like the arm candy. Uh, and, and, but she I just did think she, nothing. I hate her as a person. And after hearing all the stories, it just didn't make it any better. And I just, I don't, uh, she's on Mrs. my honorable Brock mentions Lesnar. to bring up. She's just like human garbage and good for her. Yeah, for it's not a, a, not a very good job. Hey, Brock's going to come after you. Man. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you there, Brock. Oh, uh, I also have, this is the best valet. All right. Marco Stunt. Marco um, Stunt. <laughs> <laughs> gotta give it. He is though. He doesn't do anything else. Um, no. I, I've watched a lot of matches at this point now of Jungle Boy. And he's, point, he's just there to look His cool. His entrance is so over. Yeah, he's the best. Um, but yeah, I mean, I have Trish Stratus on here. I have Tori Wilson. That was the end of yeah. my list. And I had um, Francine. Yeah, I don't, Mar- I don't have I anything had, else. I had Marlena on mine as well. Oh, I had, I had Marlena. I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah. She's Marlena. on my list. Yeah. Marlena. Oh, Marlena, so she also was important because she stuck around for so long. Like, yeah, she, she did. She became a really big <clears throat> asset to WWE, and yeah. uh, she was important. And, and her character with Goldust was really well done. Yeah, like well, he, he used her as a human. Sh- <laughs> he used her as a human shield a lot. Yes, well, yes. It, you know, it was good because they were married, so they didn't have yeah. to act. Yeah, she, in her in her first match when she comes <laughs> and she blow she blew the gold dust into uh, I don't remember who he faced Razor Ramon Ahmed, maybe maybe Ahmed Johnson oh Ahmed Johnson I think it was Ahmed Johnson yeah and yeah, uh, yeah. that was a good storyline the Ahmed Johnson gold dust storyline oh my favorite storyline that ended up not going anywhere is gold dust and Razor Ramon yeah because he left for WCW because yeah. he was genuinely like didn't want to work with that character. Yeah, um, and it turned out, and uh, yeah, it was supposed to at originally WrestleMania 12 is it was supposed to be uh, Goldust versus uh, Ramon, and it ended up being Piper. Yeah, which that would have been a good match, man. That was prime uh, Dustin and prime, uh, yeah, uh, Razor Ramon, Ramon Scott Hall. Yeah, yeah, that was like his listen, he doesn't get enough credit. Those two matches in the, the ladder matches, mm hmm. The Shawn Michaels one, and yeah. even his matches with uh, with Shawn Waltman there, X Pac one two three kid. Yeah, what, what, when he was tag team with one two three kid, had a few good matches. Yeah, yeah. Hey, about the valets. Well, yeah, we're we off top. Scott yeah. Hall doesn't get enough love. Okay, so who, who named one that nobody else had? Did anyone else have anyone out of the box? I just put I, the only all the all mention I had on here was Baby Doll. Baby I don't Doll, know who that is Miss Missy Hyatt. Missy Hyatt, yeah. Maybe uh, I just don't remember the, the days, name. If the I days. look at the face, I'll probably remember. It's it's back in the days back when Andre was the wrestling. Yeah. Uh, Luna, Luna Vachon. Luna Vachon. Yeah, she uh, she helped Goldust take it she to that Goldust. Take it to that other like that weird heel like she did. Yeah, she uh, she was really weird. It's funny because when she started, I don't remember if she was in Glow or <clears> not Glow. Uh, what's it called? Wow. Was it yeah. called Glow? No, it was Wow. I think no. no at, at, she was like a a kind of like nice looking like trying to get over with her looks type of wrestler she was a good wrestler though she was probably like yeah. one of the better ones and then uh, she did a lot of stuff in like smoky mountain and, and like yeah. nwa and, w- and yeah. then she came over to wwe and she became like this psychopath it was like yeah. so crazy there was uh what's her name too she managed uh she managed uh, uh jared and yeah austin deborah Deborah, yeah, De- Deborah I, I was never a big fan of Deborah, but she, I liked her better with Jeff Jarrett than with Stone Cold. I feel like yeah. she got in the way of those Stone Cold storylines. Well, because they were married. Yeah. 
So that that's was what... she ever with Jeff Jarrett? Yeah, she was. No, Deborah McMichael was with uh, Mongo. Mongo. Mongo McMichael. Yeah. I guess when he became an announcer, she was like, "I'm done with this." I'm done on. with this. Yeah, that's right. She was with Mongo McMichael. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I I I pretty much exhausted my list. Anybody else got anything else? Was Mae I... Young ever a ballet? Mm, I don't think so. No. I, I have a question. Oh. Go. I got one. Gorgeous George. Nice. Uh, <laughs> the one with Macho Man. Yes. Mo- Lou- uh, Molly, too. Molly Holly. Captain she was Miss Lou Madness. Albino. <laughs> Captain Lou Albino. Yeah, you know, he was really hot with all those elastics. All those elastics. Are th- 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 on his... uh, I never understood that. Like, And how did he get... Were they stapled to his face? Yeah. Did he put, like, safety pins in his face or something? Weird. Yeah, Ouch. weird guy. Uh, Cindy Lauper's yeah. dad. Okay, so wait, I have a question. From the uh, the era of of like attitude and peak WCW, who had the better valet game? I would say Attitude Era would had the better valet game. Cause like I feel like that's where Sonny started to go over the edge, and WCW was like popping off with Stacy Keebler and Tori Wilson and yeah. But then you also that's did hard. get. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty close, right? That's hard because that's when Stacy Keebler came on the scene. That's when Tori Wilson came on yeah. the scene. And then in WWE, was, you got Marlena uh, and China. Yeah, there was uh, another girl there. I keep, I think I mentioned it before. There was like some girl oh, named Daphne. Pamela. There was Daphne, Daphne was, too. Uh, a girl named Pamela, but she was more of an announcer. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I thought about her, girls. but I couldn't. I, I could never find her. The Nitro girls. You had. You actually had the Diamond Girls uh, with DDP. Yep. Yeah. Well, let me ask you a question. Kimberly Page like, was one of them. Yeah. Like, like, would you consider the um, what was it the uh, uh, uh the dancers for uh, WCW's um, the Nitro Girls, the Nitro, Nitro Girls, yeah. Like, would you consider no. like I guess those wouldn't be valets, would they? Well, one of them, I think one of them was uh, ended up uh, marrying Booker T. She was Charmel when Booker T yeah. did the whole King Booker gimmick. And there was uh, there was another one too. Yeah, another one that married um, Shawn Michaels. Garbage. I don't know. That was garbage. Garbage Shawn Marcos. All I know is Nitro, Nitro. I, I look forward to seeing them Nitro. <laughs> I, was, I was at that age. You know what I mean? <laughs> You're a weird guy. Yes, um, he is. Anyways, yeah, but I, I mean, there, there's a few really good ones. And yeah. I mean, there there should have been more. Uh, you had a really good one. Who was the, the one with uh, the Russian guy? Oh, Lana. Lana. Yeah. It works. She, that works so well. Her character was so good. And then she actually became a decent in the ring like performer too and stuff and she yeah. was like no but it worked so well because he was this big dude that didn't say anything and she was his and she would just like command him right you know rusev crush right and he'd like do his finisher right and it worked so well and then that whole thing is a play on uh the guy from rocky uh what the hell is yes name? it was uh bridget nielsen and uh yeah Dolph uh, Lundgren there from, yeah ivan drago ivan drago there you go yeah, that I, and it's funny because a lot of people don't even know that. Yeah, but that's um, exactly what it was. The yeah. su- that's why they referred to Rusev as the super athlete, right? Like that yeah. was the whole gimmick from Rocky Four. But yeah, He's that a was great a great in-ring one. worker, man. Yes, Miro is really good. He hasn't been on TV as much lately in in uh, AEW. Well, uh, and to be honest with you, the valet game is kind of over. Um, yeah. Because now they're just they're so talented like, in ring. Yeah. Now you have more of just like a female and a male wrestler working together rather yeah. than someone being a valet. Like you have the here, here, there one, but it's more. Like they don't want to be wife. a valet. They don't want to be a valet. They well, most of the wrestlers. valets that exist now are someone's wife. That's why they're there. They well, have like a whole gimmick where they. But work then again, uh, what's her name? The AEW champion there, uh, Britt Baker. That's Adam Cole's wife. Yeah, but I mean, she's a good worker. So she's a great worker. Like I that. would say she's a little better than Adam Cole, but yeah, I mean, I'm getting really tired of Adam Cole versus uh, Orange, Orange Cassidy. Cassidy. It's the some of the worst matches. No, I've ever this seen. T- this time he fought. Uh, was it the other night he fought Evil Uno? So it's yeah, somebody. Uh, <laughs> what was the match to um, John Moxley fought someone? Uh, Brian Kendrick. Yeah, and uh, Danhausen was there. Danhausen is my favorite. Yes, very Dan scary. Housen. Uh, very <laughs> yeah. uh, but uh he's like that Dan, dan Housen is like a valet almost uh yeah dan Housen is good i, I like to ask him. you so 
who was the guy that came from NXT and then when he got to WWE, they made him into like a Viking character and his wife was one of the people. I can't remember. Like they oh. gave him a helmet. His wife was one of the people. His oh. wife was like a valet. Sorry, that's what I meant. Oh, I can't remember that one now. You Viking. They gave him a helmet. I just know the Viking Raiders. They were a tag team. No, no. There, it wasn't like a Viking. They gave him like a Crusader helmet, like a metal helmet. And he was like, he had like a cross. Like Oh, uh, Carrion like, Cross. Like, Killer Cross. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which and are both his, and Scarlet Birdo. Yeah, that's who it was. That's exactly yeah. who it is. And that's that's the epitome <laughs> of like right now of who a valet is, is Scarlet Birdo, yeah, Bordeaux. Yeah. She doesn't she does wrestle. a really good job with him. Yeah. But, but he, they were both he released. Been, yeah, he, he would have been so over. I watched so much stuff about it, about how good he was. And then instead of using him to his potential, they just gave him a gimmick. Yeah, they gave him like a gimp gimmick when they brought him up from the Yeah, that's crazy, man. But yeah. We're gonna go uh, modern stuff. I guess the only one I would have is that um What's her name? Marco Vega, Scott. Vega, S- Selena Vega. Oh, Selena, Selena Vega. Vega. She wrestles, but she she wrestles too. But I yeah. guess at one point, she, she was managing was a, uh, Andrade. That's, that's all I got from modern wrestling. Both her husband and her former <clears throat> person are in AEW now. She's married to Malachi Black in AEW. Yeah, this this the wrestling community is very strange. They just pass each other's husbands and wives around and. <laughs> uh, it's like a, it was it a key party or something like that going on over here. No, I don't mean it like in like a sex party way. I mean it like they'll get one will get married to someone, then get divorced and marry someone else, uh, and they'll both yeah. marry like another wrestling person. Well, it's like uh, Corey Graves left his wife and now he's with Carmella. Yeah, it's like uh, what do you Jay, expect? Ty Conti yeah. and uh, oh, Sammy face? Guevara there. Yeah, well, they what both do you left. There's there's spending so much time on the road that they're spending so so much time with each other it, it's one of those it's jobs true. where it's like you might as well just not get married yeah unless you get married with, with each other <laughs> and then you <laughs> have to see, see each other, each other every, every day. day and you hate each other <laughs> but so. on on that note guys uh if that's all we got we'll end it over there thanks again for joining us i'll have all their stuff in the bio and uh, on that note thanks again for joining us and we'll see y'all next time